Hey everyone, welcome back to Art of Way. In this tutorial, we are going to create this car transformation. Transforming one car into another car using geometry nodes in Blender. So without wasting time, let's jump right into it. First, import both of your car models, then hide one of the car collection to keep the scene organized. You will need both car models for transformation. Hiding one collection ensures you only work with one car at a time, avoiding confusion during the setup. Press Alt P and click on Clear and keep transformation. Also, make sure you have multiple separate objects in the car model, as this will make it look more interesting while transforming. Here as you can see we have the model with multiple modifiers applied. Avoid that and apply all modifiers. Simply right click and click on convert to mesh. So Blender will automatically apply all the modifiers. Go to the edit mode and select all the objects. Then press P and choose separate by loose part. Back to object mode and press shift S. Select origin to selection. Now hide this car collection and unhide the second car collection. Repeat the same. Clear the parent objects. Apply all modifiers. Separate them by loose parts to make multiple parts. And once done hide this car collection as well. Now let's add GeoNode object. Press shift A, add a plane. This will be our geometry node object. Then go to the geo node editor, click on new and rename it as car transformation. Also rename the plane as geo node object for better organization. Click on this pin icon, delete the group input node and drag the first car collection in the geo node editor. Connecting it to the group output. This is where actual transformation magic happens. Next enable separate children and then press shift A. Search for scale instance node and drag it before the group output. Scale instance will allow us to scale the car model in different ways. The separate children option and ensure that each part of the car is treated as independent piece of the transformation. Now add a mix color node and connect it to scale like this. Set color A to bright white and select the both nodes and press ctrl G to make a node group. Inside the group connect the factor to new socket of the group input node and also do the same with color B. Now duplicate the mix color node and press shift A to search for translate instant. Drag it before the group output and connect this mix color node to the translation. After that connect this factor to the factor and set the color A to dark black and connect color B to the new socket. Now press N, go to the group and in the group socket menu, double click on the first B and rename it to the scale and set the type to vector so we'll have this XYZ scale values. Now double click on this other B and rename it to the translate and also set the type to vector to get its XYZ value. Now press tab to exit from the node group. Now our basic node group is ready for this scale up and scale down effect. Next we have to add a controller to control the effect on a particular axis. For that press shift A and search for position node. Then in the view press shift A and add an empty object. If you want move this up like this. Then press F2 and rename it to the controller. Now drag the controller into the geo nodes editor. Also add vector mask node. Duplicate them to make it two and add separate XYZ nodes. Now let's connect the nodes. Connect the position to vector and location to another vector. Set the first math node to subtract then connect this node to another math node and set this one to divide. Also connect the scale to the vector. After that connect this divide to the separate XYZ node. Now connect this Y axis to the factor of the group node. Now now select the empty in the viewport and move it on Y axis like this. As you can see we have our desired effect. Now we just need to add other car. For that drag your car collection into the geo node editor then duplicate this node group. Connect the collection instance to the group instance. Now for the reverse effect add a map range node. Connect this Y axis to the value of the map range node. Also enable separate children. Then in the map range set 2 min to 1 and 2 max to 0. The map range node allow us to reverse the effect so the car transform back into the original shape as the empty move in the opposite direction. This creates the illusion of the car changing from one model to other. Now let's connect this both car collection to the group output. For that add a join geometry node and connect the both groups to it. The join geometry node combines the transform geometry of both cars allowing them to appear and disappear as the transformation happens. And finally you are done with the node setup. This is the final geonet setup of the transformation effect with this group node. Now in the viewport select the empty and if you move the empty on y axis you will see our final transformation effect is ready. You can also set this translate value on y axis to make the scaling variation. If you have multiple separate objects you will see the difference properly but in this case it doesn't really matter. Now let's animate. Set the end frame of the timeline to 200. Next select the empty and move it in front of the car. Then on frame 5 press K to add a location keyframe. Go to the frame 95. Move the empty back of the car and add another location keyframe. Now on frame 105 copy the keyframe which is on frame 95 and paste it on frame 105. Now select the fifth frames keyframe and paste it on the frame 195. Then hit spacebar to see the transformation effect in action. Now let's add a camera, set up the scene and hit render. And that's it you're done. Your very own car turns transformation using geometry nodes in blender is ready to render. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and it helps you to take your blender skill to the next level. Feel free to create your own versions and share them with me. Don't forget to tag me on instagram. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Follow Art of V for more.